crashes are an unfortunate reality for both pro riders and amateur riders alike. And whilst the mechanics will be busy fixing bikes, it's the team doctors at a Grand Tour here like the Vuelta a España who will have to fix the bodies. Eager to feature on a GCN video, Ryder Hedgedale of Team Garmin Shark crashed earlier on in this race, so we caught up with him and his team doctor Phil Storsky to find out the best way to deal with road rash. Ryder, road rash an unfortunate kind of yeah. part of uh, road racing. How do you go out dealing with it with the team doctors and uh, what do you find to be the most comfortable way of dressing it, etc.? You know, obviously it depends on how deep it is and, and where it is and it's just all about, you know, getting on top of it right away, keeping those getting that you know fresh skin coming back as soon as possible. Road rash, uh, unfortunately a problem for most racers at some point in their careers, but also for the general public, unfortunately, crashes are a part of uh, riding sometimes. So what's the best way to deal with it once you get home? First thing you want to do is make sure that you get the wound clean. Um, that's the most important part when it comes to healing. And the easiest and best way to do that is uh, just to jump in the shower and um, use a couple of things to wash it out. If you just have a, even a basic washcloth, that's fine. You can put a little antibacterial soap in some water and then scrub the wound clean. Gently, it's going to be uncomfortable, but just enough that you get all the gravel and dirt and road rash out. One of the things that we use here is a, is a scrub brush, but it has a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other. And if you can get into the wound to get some of that gravel or road grit out, then that's going to be really effective. It kind of looks almost as painful as the, the road rash itself might be just to get it clean. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, uh, if you like the rider, you go a little bit softer, you know, if they're a bit of a pain in the butt, then you, you go a little harder. And how important is that, that cleaning process? If you don't get all the gravel out, etc., what uh, could the consequences be? You know, it's, it's really the most important part when it comes to, to wound healing. If you don't get it out, then you're going to have delayed wound healing. Um, it's going to set you up risk for, for an infection and uh, retain foreign body that can lead to an abscess. So that's going to be the most important uh, aspect of the, the wound process. Okay, so once you've got it clean, some people say to wear it, some people say to cover it up. What are the methods that you personally use with the riders? So what we do, uh, once it's clean, is you'll take a um, take an antibiotic ointment, either a double or a triple antibiotic ointment. Also, it's available at the pharmacy. And just a, a very thin film you want to put over the, the top of the wound. You can put it on with your finger, just uh, about the size of a pea, basically, for an average size um, injury. And once you do that, then we'll use a, a non-stick dressing here. What that looks like is a piece of gauze, but it's, it's, um, it's designed so it doesn't stick to the wound. So when it comes time to change the dressing, you're not pulling off the healing that's already happened. And basically, we'll cut this down to size and uh, put that over the wound um, after you have the antibiotic film. And then lastly, we'll take a roll. This is called Ergoderm. It's also known as Surgifix. And we'll cut this down to the size of the wound, place it over the top of the nonstick dressing, and then there you have your wound dressing. After that, it'll be changed once a day. Um, generally, for about three to four days, we'll leave that on, and then we'll, we'll leave it exposed because by that time, the healing process has gotten underway and uh, the wound isn't going to be exposed um, like it was in the original injury. How do you decide yeah. when the time's right to kind of expose them to yeah. fresh air? I guess just when they kind of get a uh, cover on them, you know, it's the bandages, being covered in bandages, yeah, I prefer not to. So uh, once they're, you know, kind of dried up and got that protective layer over top, I think it's okay to, uh, to have them out in the open and that just actually, you know, speeds up the process. And finally, if there's somebody at home that feels like they've had road rash for some time and it's not healing up the way that they'd like, any advice for them? Yeah, absolutely. They should seek medical attention. And generally, you should see a pretty good deal of healing within 7 to 10 days. Uh, if it's painful, if there's bleeding, if there's pus drainage, yellow foul-smelling discharge, or if there's redness around the wound or starting to streak up the extremity, if that's where it is, then they should seek medical attention.